In this problem, we have an equation that we need to solve for x, and we want to clear it of the fractions because fractions get really confusing and difficult when you're trying to do algebraic equations. The thing we're going to do here, the, the method we're going to use, is to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominators. If these two denominators were the same, we could multiply them by that number. In this case, we have two different denominators. So we really have to multiply them by both. So if I multiply, you know, if I multiplied this side here by three, it would get rid of this three in the denominator. And if I multiplied this side by five, it would get rid of that five. But you have to do the same thing both sides of the equation. So if I'm multiplying this side by three, I also have to multiply this side by three. And if I'm multiplying this side by 5, I also have to multiply this side by 5. So really, we're multiplying both sides by 15. So let me rewrite this. 15 times 2 thirds x minus 4 equals 2 fifths times 15. This is going to get rid of all of the fractions. And let me show you how that works. First, we're going to distribute this 15. So really, the first part of this problem is 15 times 2 thirds. And I can think of 15 as 15 over 1, 2 thirds x. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply across the top, we multiply across the bottom. 15 times 2 is 30. 1 times 3 is 3. So that's 30 over 3, or 10x. Whoops, just plain old 10x, no fraction there. And then my second term, 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. So I get 10x minus 60. Much simpler. And here, 2 fifths times 15 over 1. Well, 2 times 15 is 30. And 5 times 1 is 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So we end up with 10x minus 60 equals 6. And if you wanted to go on and solve that equation, you would add 60 to both sides. You'd get 10x equals 66, and x is going to be 66 divided by 10, or 6.6, .6 or uh, 33 fifths. But that the main point here was using the denominators to clear the fractions uh, on both sides by multiplying.